The ocean is much deeper than you think. In fact, 80% of the world's oceans remain unexplored. We actually know more about the planets in our solar system than some regions of the ocean. So today, we will take a deep dive through the ocean to discover how deep it really is. Our journey to the ocean floor begins at the epipelagic zone, or the sunlight zone, the ocean's uppermost layer. Stretching from the surface to about 200 meters deep, the distant sunlight can reach below the surface. Thanks to the magic of photosynthesis, this zone supports a wide variety of underwater life. This includes many familiar faces, such as dolphins, turtles, and vast schools of fish. The largest underwater mammal, the blue whale, cruises slowly through this zone, eating as much as 3,500 kilograms of tiny krill per day. Additionally, the zone is commonly used for recreational activities such as snorkeling and scuba diving due to its accessibility and the beauty of its coral reefs. Diving deeper, we now reach the mesopelagic zone, or the twilight zone. This zone extends from 200 to 1,000 meters deep, the equivalent depth of three Eiffel Towers stacked on top of each other. In the twilight zone, the water pressure increases significantly, with the pressure at the bottom of the zone being around 1,458 pounds per square inch. In the twilight zone, we have the world scuba diving record at 332 meters and the maximum diving limit for blue whales at 500 meters. The sunlight in this zone is very faint and is insufficient for photosynthesis. Therefore, the inhabitants of this mysterious world have adapted to a world of darkness. Bioluminescent creatures like the lanternfish and hatchetfish light up these waters with their living glow. Venturing further, we reach the Baith Ipelagic Zone, or the Midnight Zone. This zone extends from 1,000 to 4,000 meters below the ocean surface, which is the equivalent depth of almost five Burj Khalifas stacked on each other. In complete darkness, life here thrives under extreme pressure and near freezing temperatures. The pressures here are around 5,580 pounds per square inch, the weight of a full-size van pressing down on every square inch of the water. This zone is home to some of the most intriguing creatures, like the anglerfish, which attracts prey in the dark by using a bioluminescent lure that dangles in front of its mouth. It is also the home of the giant squid, which can weigh up to 750 kilograms and have a height of 14 meters. As well as other mysterious creatures like the viperfish, tripod fish, and deep sea jellyfish. Here we reach the maximum dive point of animals like the leatherback sea turtle and the sperm whale. Evidence has shown that underwater battles likely occur between the sperm whale and the giant squid, resulting in the mysterious marks found on beached sperm whales. Further down into the midnight zone at 3,800 meters, we can also find the wreck of the RMS Titanic. It is here that we reach the average depth of the ocean at 3,862 meters. As we descend past 4,000 meters, we enter the abyssopelagic zone, or the abyssal zone, which extends to a depth of 6,000 meters. It's a realm so deep that it exists in permanent darkness. Temperatures here are around freezing, and the water pressure is at a staggering 11,000 pounds per square inch. It is a flat, desolate landscape and covers 83% of the ocean. Despite the abyssal zone's immense size, very few creatures can withstand its harsh environment. Yet, even here, life finds a way. Unique species like tiny squid, basket stars, and deep-sea cucumbers inhabit this alien landscape. Most organisms here are invertebrates, as they are the only ones who withstand the immense water pressure. Due to the lack of food in this area, many of these animals consume whatever they can get their hands on. Finally, we reach the Hadal Zone which extends from 6,000 meters to the ocean floor and can vary widely depending on the location. Appropriately named after Hades, the Greek god of the underworld, this zone covers the deepest ocean regions, also known as the trenches. Here, the pressure is crushing and life here is sparse. The most famous trench, the Mariana Trench, is part of this zone. A tiny portion of marine life does reside in the Hadal Zone, even though it may provide rather unfriendly living conditions. This exclusive group of creatures consists of animals like the deep ocean cuskeels, pearlfish, grenadiers, and amphipods, who have adapted to extreme pressures. 
The lowest discovered point in the ocean is in a region of the Mariana Trench known as Challenger Deep. This region is located in the Western Pacific Ocean, in the territory of the islands of Micronesia, and has a depth of around 10,994 meters. This is even deeper than the height of Mount Everest. In summary, the ocean's depth varies widely depending on the location, and the ocean's average depth is around 3,862 meters, with the deepest point being located in the Mariana Trench at 10,994 meters.